Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another edition of Down the Waterhole where drinks are drunk. We're gonna it's gonna it's just, it's basically 2017's end of year review, and you know what that means. End of year well I count the last week of uh, November is the start of the end of the year, really, because December is basically like 25 days of a activity and then fuck all for the last day of the year, last week of the year. That's what I was saying. But anyway, to go back, we're going to be taking a look at five, well, I had to call promotional drinks that come from Pepsi. Specifically, four of them are dues. And specifically, two seasonal dues, two. Game Fuel episodes, because yes, the Game Fuel episode is back for this month, and a special Pepsi existing. I mean, I didn't get my hands on the Pepsi Fire because, well, perfectly honest, but I found something that's even slightly addictive. Speaking of seasonal Jews, we're going to take our mind back to July the 4th, American Independence Day. Basically, we're going to take a look at the first one. This is Do SA. Now, this is basically three flavors of Mountain Dew combined into one. <clears throat> just because people are too late, just because people are lazy to combine flavors in their own time, they, the Pepsi group decided to change their names for them. So, we got Dew SA here, which basically is Code Red, White Out, and Voltage. Amazingly, two amazingly, one's already reviewed and two are are two exempt from the show because I like Code Red and Mountain Dew. But combat ma not Mountain Dew, I mean it's full I say cold I like Code Red and Voltage. Which is kind of ironic because the other cold Code Red mixes in the fridge behind me, which is interesting to note. So, do you say, eh? You know, I think this is. I think in in retrospect, this is probably a bad idea. But it is, as you can see here, it's kind of uh, translucent, as a term may be. Well, <coughs> I got a very nasty bad cough at the moment. So this goes up immediately onto the channel, so you can basically do that anyway. And it's got a very. It's got. Hang on. Why is the smell... Actually, this is also out of date as well. Red, white, and dew. Hmm. Might just make that the voltage line. Anyway, I'm gonna find what the... What is the, what is the date for this thing, anyway? Um, I'm gonna assume... I will... Oh, here it is. I think I can see it. July 17... Yeah, this has been... This is, this is also out of date. So this may affect the score, because usually out of date products tend to be good, tend to be okayish in drink form. Everything else is not. So I'm gonna take, so I'm gonna pour me a bit of this, of this, of this Americanized, <coughs> of this hol of this American Institute. I mean, look at this right here. It's clear as shit, and it's not usually the nicest idea. Smells like a do. See if it's actually is a good do. This may be a terrible one, but you never know. Anyway. This is do SA. Gonna have to hate to say this, but I was right with the assumption that three flavors don't mix well. It doesn't mix well. It's refreshing, which is a positive, but there's a problem with that. When you have three, when you mix three drinks together normally, they tend to have this mess, and that's exactly what I'm tasting here. It's just uh, this is not a good idea. I mean, yeah, it's not bad. It's it's a it's it's all it's supposed to be promoting the Independence Day shit, but uh, no, this is actually a bad idea. So I would just rec I would just say drink the other stuff. I would just I just pretty much just say drink the other three if you could find them separately. I mean, they are permanent flavors. You should find Americans could find them easily, but in this form, ah. Uh, 
No, I'm just glad to say it's two. It's not that good, and it's bad. <clears throat> anyway, that's the that's the bad. Hopefully, that's the bad apple. Because I've heard interesting things about some of the other three, and the, and the other mixture, which has also come out this time, should be an interesting one as well. So, hope this is the first bad do review I've had on this show, and it's shocking that it had to come from the whole Americanized version of this one. As a do connoisseur, I would have to say that you have to drink these on your own, separately, not together. And that's what usually happens when you have to drink shit like this. So, see you all next time. Bye for now.